Hold on. Okay. Now, uh, this is uh, Gun Safety with Tom Gruber. So, first off, let's start off with a uh, handgun. Now, uh, never just, uh, never do that. You always gotta make sure that, uh, you just don't, uh, just don't do that. That's not good. Now, notice that uh, I do this before I take out my magazine. Because if you do, if you pull this, there is, uh, there's no bullet in there. The same goes for all pistols. But uh, let's uh, let's move on to something like this. Now, uh, don't look down the barrel because if uh, you don't have your uh, safety on, you could uh, you could end up killing yourself. I'll pick that up later. Now let's move on to, uh, hmm, something like this. This is a, uh, it's a submachine gun. Uh, always hold with two hands and not one because I'm a sh I'm gonna demonstrate what happens if you, uh, end up using one hand. That's not effective. Now let me demonstrate what it is with two hands. You see how all of them hit the target? Now let's move on to something else. Like this. First of all, I'm gonna unload this. Now, the thing is with double barrels. Is that if you put a round here, the first round will not do anything. See? But, uh, please, if you don't want to break your wrist, don't use one hand. Use two hands. And don't be dumb and drop your bullets on the floor. You see how I handled that? It's because I have strong wrists. No. Uh... Always use a stock with a Spaz 12. Only you don't use, don't one hand it ever. Because, um. It just, it, it will fall out of your hand. Now, if you're using a stock, still don't one-hand it. One-hand it in general. Now, let's, uh... See, this is safe. That's not safe. If the pin just goes somewhere and you don't know where it went, don't let go of the of the uh, don't let go of the uh, the handle. Now let's move on to something automatic. Where is the prime? Oh, here it is. Now, with guns like this. Now it's unloaded. 
it won't load until you hit until you do this now I'm gonna try something else this is a this is an Antonov Kalashnikov 47 very popular gun almost in every game you see how I two-handed that don't one hit unless you know what you're doing single firing that's fine just make sure you have a have a good doctor if you break your wrist but full autoing even if sideways like look it bullets went all over the range now oh i hit my guardian This is a G3, I think. I'm not sure. Now, a fun fact about these is that you can only, uh... Oh, I dropped it. That's fine, I'll grab another one. You can only, uh, kind of grab the pin if you, uh... Hold it in the other direction. I just dropped the- Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just dropped the- No. Hold on. Okay. I swear. At this point, I'm just gonna- there we go. I'll grab another G3. Now. I actually don't know where the priming handle is. Is it? Ah, I found it. Now, if you're aiming down sights, always make sure you're at a steady stance. Focus. Breathe. There's nothing to lose while you're on the range. Hip firing gets the job done. One one handing does almost nothing. Always make sure to reload when you have the chance. Aiming down sights, most accurate result. Now, an M4. Before we start, I am going to go and grab this. Because having a grip makes you more accurate. Hmm? Oh. I'll grab another one. And this one is without a grip. For me, going with the grip is always better. But it varies with everyone. So... I sprayed bullets all over. I mean, most vital area. Now let's try it with the grip. Hold on. I I really should have did this. Okay. With the grip, it's always better. Now, with something like a machine pistol, this is 20 rounds, including the one I ejected.
No. Using two hands with the pistol will make you more accurate. But, uh, I honestly like to feel with one handing. Just breathe, aim in, and fire. You see how some of my bullets went to the head? No. Let's say someone was trying to attack you and they unloaded your gun. And they did this. Switching to your secondary is always faster than firing. Now let's do the same thing, but this time with an assault rifle. I'm just going to choose a random assault rifle. It's not really important. It applies to all of them. Say someone grabbed your magazine and unloaded it. You still have one in the chamber because I don't think they would be they would be fast enough to do this before you just do this. Or, you know, let's do this again. Um like a butt stock. If they just hit you with that, you're down. Now see Weapon safety, it's always important. And, uh, sorry that I'm shaking, actually. Only fire with what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with fully firing, that's, that's okay. Just make sure to use two hands. And make sure that you know what you're doing. Because I'm, I'm just an amateur that has time and a gun range. Now, the let's try with dual pistols. Let's say, uh, well, oh, I dropped one of them. Okay. Now, the thing about pistols is that there is two ways that you could do this. You could do it like this, or you could do it like this or like this. Now, personally, I prefer to fire like this. Now, there's a way to speed load without, you know, saying Now Pistols unload Right, simplest way to do things but the way I like to do this is, hold on, okay, so just imagine these are low, actually, just give me just a second. Oh, well, drop one of them. That's okay, we all make mistakes. Now, let's just say these are loaded. They're not, but they are. Instead of just putting your pistol, I keep dropping them. Instead of just putting your pistols down, maybe you try holstering them. It's, uh, very simple. Though, if you're like me and you forget to pull them back, that's fine. Just make sure you, you know what you're doing. Now... Let's go with deagles this time. Now, the IMI Desert Eagle is a 50 AE, or if you don't speak uh, gun language, 50 Action Express. It is a pistol caliber of a, of a 50 cartridge. Now, I will put my pistols down for just a second. Using one, you would usually do this, right? Because... 
that's not accurate. Hold on. Because one-handing an eagle is not accurate. At all. Two-handing a deagle. At least you can know where you're aiming. Now. Two-handing a deagle, you gotta know what you're doing. You have to, uh... You have to not be too close because... It hits you in the face. Because this is a very powerful weapon. Now... I will just leave them there for two seconds. Ah, here it is. The Mossberg 590 Express. Very good. And now this is the last weapon that I will be doing today because... Well, I locked the door. They can't get in. Now. You see how that hole punched? Now, the thing about shotguns, obviously, is that if it's pump action, you got to make sure you eject the round before you load a new one in. Now. I don't know if this can hold 7 or 8, but let's just say that this holds 8, including the one that you load in. Now let's say this guy has a pistol or something, and you're at home and you have a home defense weapon. You see how long that took me to take him out? I mean, if he had armor, which... I don't think a burglar, w burglar would have an armor plate. It only takes one to, uh, to kill someone. But if you're like me and you miss, let's just say, oh, I'm so bad at aiming. Oh, I'm so terrible at aiming. Don't bother with the shotgun. If you have home defense weapons, make sure you have a pistol or a shotgun or both. It won't matter, because if you miss, oh, let's just say that didn't hit. Having one or two pistols at the ready for home defense is phenomenal in protecting your home. Now, let's say you own a sniper rifle, or you have a hunting rifle. This is not a hunting rifle. This is. I believe that this is a Car 98K, but I can't tell. Or if it's something like a Lee Enfield, because to me they both look the same. Having a scope is like 101. You, you can't not have a scope on this. Hold on. Now, I don't think you can actually put a scope on here, so. You have a hunting rifle. That's good. You like hunting? I don't. Re reset. Reset. Target. Thank you. Now, you, it's not automatic, it's a bolt-action rifle. <sighs> For me, home defense weapons never can beat a frag grenade because that shreds. But let's move on to grenades. Now, I pulled the pin, and the... Well, the thing's still in there. Oops. Okay. That's good, it's not a frag grenade. Unlike this. Now, 
Okay. Well, I'll just take this. This is a flashbang. I did it to myself again. I did it to myself again. Now, something like this is an MK1 frag grenade. Woo! Yeah, I killed myself again. It doesn't matter. I'll just grab more frags. Okay. Now let's try this again. Now as long as as this is here, which is not anymore, that won't happen to you. Now flashbangs, I should really stop pulling the pin on these before I let go of them. I'll try this one more time. Okay, one more time for all the marbles. I keep... Oh, that's a, that's a wall. Hold on. Well, I just hit a wall again. That's fine. It's okay. Kids, don't do this at home. Frag grenade. I think this is another flash. That's another flash. And then the M something grenade. All of these weapons, grenades, pistols, slash handguns, submachine guns, rifles, and shotguns, and hunting rifles, and snipers. Don't forget about those. All of these are good at something. Pistols are good for close quarters. If you don't have a shotgun or something. Now, I'll take this all the way back. This is a... I believe of This is a 5.7 AP. 9mm parabellum. Apparently, apparently not. So let's get that out of here. Now this, a 1911. 45 ACP. 9mm, 9mm parabellum. Now, let's say a Tech 9. 9mm Parabellum. You can one-hand this. Because, apparently, we don't have the regular version. We have the civilians single fire. I swear, if this is classified as some sporting... Some sporting rifle, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip... Now, don't ever use a Tech 9 unless you have the license to own a fully automatic one. Now, as you can see, I have tons of magazines and stuff on the floor, but that's not important. Hold on, I have an idea. Just for fun. It doesn't do anything to the target. It's now... This is an RPG-7.
That's all the way to the back of the range. You wanna know why? Hold on. For some reason, the back blast won't kill you. I'm a gangsta fire it. I'm gonna do this. I'm a gangsta fire an RPG 7. <laughs> Not even close. Let's try 60 miles. I'm not leaving this gun range until I'm not gonna leave this gun range until I hit it. I didn't hit it. One more time. One more time. At this point, I don't care. One more time. Yes! One more time. Just, just, just for, just for good luck. All right. Now, uh, let's finish this off with a bang.